From Alamo City, San Antonio, to all around the world, this is US Airsoft at SHOT Show 2018, which was sponsored by Airsoft GI. Hey everyone, this is Troy with GNG Armin. I'm here with US Airsoft at SHOT Show 2018, checking out the new products from us. So let's start. Uh, we have the CM16 Raider 2.0. We, uh, you probably have seen these already at your local retailers, but we never really uh, showed them at the last shot show or trade show in Germany, at, which is called IWA. Um, so starting off with the short, uh, these will be packed with a 6.04 Type 4 barrel, uh, rotary hop-up, and they're wired to Dean. So uh, a much upgraded Raider, same construction and reliability that you can expect from the original CM16 Raider, but just with an updated look. Uh, moving down, we have the CM16 Raider uh, 2.0 long, uh, which is the same internals as the uh, one above it, but the only difference is it has a PDW-style stock, uh, electronic trigger unit, and a pre-installed MOSFET. It also comes with a vertical trigger, similar with the ARP9, and they're available in black and tan, which you see right below. And then right in the middle between those Raiders are, is the updated L85A2 ETU. Uh, from what I'm being told is that we actually redesigned the whole gearbox to actually have the ETB fit in there. So unfortunately, if you have an older L85A2 and want to upgrade the, with an ETU, you're not going to be able to. Uh, we don't have a pricing uh, or ETA on this just yet, so, uh, but be on the lookout for more information updates throughout the year. Uh, moving down on the next rack, we have the fully licensed Knights Armament Rifles. Uh, these will be included with the G2 systems that you saw with the gearbox. Uh, the price point for these, for the 7 inch, you're looking at 370, 380 for the 9 inch, and then 400 for the long uh, 308 style rifle. Right below, we have the Seekins Precision with the collaboration with the EMG. Uh, it's also similar with the uh, Knight's Armament Rifle. It's going to have the G2 system inside. Price point is going to be $400. I mean, $380, I'm sorry. Um, moving on to the last rack, this is our new prototype of our GBB rifle. We try to come out with a more skeletonized look to it. Um, from what I've been told, you're going to be able to adjust the hop up. Um, just put in a, a metal rod inside the inner barrel and adjust the hop up. It's going to be an open bolt system. Uh, we've updated the uh, pistol grip to kind of be more of a straight compared to our 45 angle uh, pistol grips in the past. It's also going to have a competition style selector lever, which is the 45 degree angle. Um, don't have a price, don't have any pricing or uh, ETA on release on that gun. Um, with 2017, the ARP9 was one of our popular sellers. So we decided for 2018 to kind of give the, the most uh, popular seller uh, an updated look. So now Battleship Gray is available. And also we call this the Black Orchid, which you might, uh, might be familiar with the Black Rose um, from before. And then right below that, uh, we have an, the, the Iconic Mod 1, but now we update it with the Metal Receiver and uh, with an ETU and MOSFET, and it comes with the side panels. Price point's gonna be around $350, and uh, no ETA just yet for that, uh, for the US market. All right, let's move around and see what the highlight of SHOT Show for us is. Uh, a lot of players have been talking about it, a lot of me have been looking at it, and right here is a new CM16 LMG from us. Pretty much everything you see here, it comes with the light machine gun, so you're gonna get the bipod, you're gonna get the dummy rounds, the uh, multi, fully licensed multi-cam drum mag, which is 2,500 rounds. Internally, you're gonna have a uh, standard 6.08 uh, inner barrel. You're gonna have a pre-installed MOSFET, an electronic trigger unit, and it comes with a rotary hop-up. And the really cool feature about it is that it comes in semi also, so, for players that are playing outside, you go inside a building or a Connex, um, you can't shoot full auto, now you can switch it to semi, engage your, uh, you know, your enemy, and then go outside and, all, and then uh, act as a support uh, weapon uh, player for your team. So that's a cool thing. Uh, no ETA, but we're looking for pricing, we're looking at under $300 for that. So very affordable uh, to do. Now we have our new GTP9 pistol coming out. Um, what's really unique about this pistol, which I really like, it's just gonna save a lot of 
uh, you know, uh, time from taking it apart is we have a little tool here. You're able to adjust the hop up inside the inner barrel without uh, taking off the, the slide anymore. So more convenient. And also we have ambidextrous uh, mag release right here. So whether you're a left or right hand player, you're able to drop the magazine right here. Which one? <laughs> yeah, and then we have the new 1911 com competition pistol here. Uh, it's a plastic slide as well too with the metal uh, trigger guard and the metal like lower as well. And, uh, this and the GTP9, we don't have any pricing or ETA on that just yet, but make sure you stay tuned. Uh, moving down, um, as many as you know, sniping has been more of a uh, up demanding uh, uh, type of weapon type that a lot of people have been asking for. So with that being said, we decided to come out with the 4.3 BB to accommodate those snipers <clears throat> or somebody or people that are asking for heavier weight BBs along with a 32 biodegradable BB as well too. Last, last year we partnered up with Mechanics and came out with our own glove. A lot of players love them uh, for speed stuff or indoor arenas, but also they were asking and our dudes were asking for something a little bit more protection. So we partnered up with Mechanics again uh, this year and came out with the new G&G Mechanics Club. As you can tell, it's uh, rubberized uh, on the fingertips and right there on the knuckles. Contours on the, over the knuckles very easily and uh, nicely uh, compared to like uh, the hard carbon fiber knuckles, which doesn't even give you too much mobility in your hands once you actually uh, hold your uh, pistol grip on your rifle or your pistol uh, and then have uh, nice double stitching padding on there as well and the cool feature about this is a touch screen compatible compatible so if you have uh, if you want to take out your cell phone real quick you're able to use these gloves without taking the gloves off all right now we're going to move down to the parts and accessories for our rifles um, so if you're if you have the Raider 2.0 or the ARP9, obviously those are m lock rails. You're gonna want some uh, side panels or picketaries to mount that flash side lasers. Or if you want to have a nice short stubby, uh, you can have that on the on the back. You see there. Um, as I mentioned earlier, we have the fully licensed Knights Armament rifles. If maybe you don't, you can't afford the rifle just yet, but you, you're a really big fan of Knights Armament, we do have the rails separately sold so that way you can upgrade and make a custom gun to your liking. Then moving down, we have, um, we came out with the drum mech for the ARP-9, so now we're doing with the M4. So one, on the right side, you'll see it's the manual wine, and then on the left-hand side, uh, will be the battery operated one and right here in the middle of the the, the two black uh, suppressors we have the battle owl trace unit which is a 12 millimeter counterclockwise uh, threads but we also have the adapter for the 14 millimeter uh, standard uh, if you want to mount that on your rifle sometimes what I've seen is on guns the rail is spacing is very thin and you can't really fit anything in there uh, kind of like the GC 16 Predator now you're able to fit a trace unit on there with your rifle so that kind of wraps it up for us for 2018 guys thanks for watching and stay, stay tuned for more updates on US Airsoft's channel and like, make sure you like and subscribe uh, the channel. See you guys later.